Hello everyone, my name is Dorian and welcome to a very special video. This one is about giving you guys a free telemetry tool called United Racing Data. United Racing Data supports iRacing, Assetto Corsa, Assetto Corsa Competizione, R-Factor 2, Race Room, Project Cars 2 and even more in the future. It's completely free right now, it's in the beta stage, I wasn't paid to do it, I just think it's a great tool to help you guys improve. Basically, telemetry is a tool that professional sim racers and racing drivers uh, used to uh, minimize their time on the track and help themselves get better quickly because track time is very expensive so that's how they do it and why not us so we're going to use that tool today i'm going to show you exactly how to use the platform we're going to take it step by step if you enjoy it leave a like this is what my channel is all about i dedicate myself to helping other people specifically right now in iRacing I, I, I do track guides and racing videos where I explain everything that I'm doing throughout the race my mindset and whatnot and occasionally I do these type of special videos where I give you guys a tool that helps you improve so if you want to see more of it subscribe to the channel let's get started first thing we want to do is log in so on the top right here we have the login button we're going to sign up with Google or Facebook the website itself doesn't save any of your credentials that's going to put us in our profile page, specifically the edit page. Now, because I've already signed up to the service, it doesn't give me a download button here, but usually there will be one. If not, just click download here, we'll open a new tab and download the URD telemetry logger. This logger basically is the program that sits on your computer that sends the data back to the platform and automatically recognizes the fact that you've started a SIM and it's going to start record your data. The only thing is with iRacing, you need to activate the telemetry within the SIM, but with any other SIM, it just works automatically. Now, because this is a new service, uh, Windows doesn't recognize it as an authorized uh, program. Basically, it's a statistics based uh, tool that Microsoft uses. So once it gets enough downloads, it will start authorizing it. So in the meantime, you'll have to do it manually. You click see more here and we'll keep the file show more uh, keep anyway it doesn't have any viruses in it it does have all the credentials necessary i've been assured uh, by the chief programmer his name is amir mishulam you can contact him through the platform and ask him any security related questions or any questions for and for any matter really you have to contact us button right here and we're just going to open the installer and quickly install the program again more info run anyways once we, it gets like i don't know about 2000 more downloads it shouldn't even give you this message anyways run anyway next accept next next install that's pretty much it we're gonna jump to the logger real quick and show you exactly what you need to do there so this is the logger and once you install it you see you're disconnected and you need to log in basically it's very simple to do go here get your logger id in your account page and copy it we'll say you copied it take it here just log in put your logger id submit and turn engines everything's working specific to iRacing this option here is to delete the telemetry files after processing basically uh in any other sim the telemetry files are stored in ram here it's stored on your hard drive so you should delete it i would say at least once a week because it does get very large in the settings here you can record your laps video recording of your laps you can choose the encoder here the default is off so you can see it here on the edit page you can see here that laps video recording is never by default it won't start recording automatically without your permission but you can do always or practice only so not record your race just your practice sessions you can change that whenever you want by going to your account here right now the encoder only supports cpu and nvidia it doesn't support amd cards yet it will happen in the future as far as i know and that's pretty much all you need for the logger we're going to jump to the platform basically start recording laps okay so we're back from the sim and now we want to check out our stint so we're going to go here on the top left to stints and it's going to show us every single time we've recorded our laps while using this platform doesn't matter which sim which combo we were using only signed up a couple of days ago so it's only going to give me iRacing Silverstone GP with the F3 and we're going to go to stints here 
and it's going to give me all the different times I went on this specific combo. So two days ago, 31 minutes ago and 14 minutes ago. And we're going to go to the latest one. We already have some information here like track temps and stuff like that. Fastest lap. But if we want to go more in depth, we're going to click on analyze this tent. Now the platform is already going to go to your fastest clean lap. So if I made a lap that was faster but had an off track in it, uh, basically exceeding the limits of the track, then it's not going to uh, qualify it as a valid lap. And you can see it here. If you go to switch laps, this is going to give me all the laps that I made in the stance. There's a few icons here. So one of which would be to uh, invalid the lap, this uh, orange checkers. It is my fastest lap. So that's the green timer here. This is my worst fuel consumption, best fuel consumption. It's going to give you some data and the lap times. So let's go to my fastest lap at 52.429. The off track wasn't too bad. Didn't really give me too big of an advantage. So we can check that out. Right. So we're starting with the lap data. So we got the best time. When was it? It wasn't valid because I had an off track. Air temp, track temp, wind direction, wind velocity, fuel consumption. Basically a ton of info, even amount of usage on the track. And we're going to see all the traces here. So throttle tracing, brake tracing, gearing, uh, speed and RPM. We can actually add some more if we really want to. Uh, we got this icon here, this right icon, open telemetry channels and you'll be able to add or remove other channels to uh, get more information. This is especially useful if you're trying to create a setup or trying to prepare yourselves for an endurance race. For example, I uh, want to see, uh, I don't know, like tire temps and tire pressures throughout the stent. What's going to happen after an hour long driving on a specific combo, uh, how the tires are going to be like and stuff like that. So we can see a lot of different information that we can add or remove here. Water temp, oil temp, if you're doing ovals, for example, and stuff like that, accept changes, and it will give you the extra data that you need. For this part, I had to turn off the camera. So uh, first of all, here we have all the different sectors. Now, these aren't exactly the sectors that you'll have uh, when you're racing there in real life, like you see in Formula One, for example. These are sectors created by the platform's algorithm that will basically take group of corners and batch them together into sectors. So you'll be able to uh, kind of uh, divide it into certain parts of the track that have a certain amount of corners in them like this part specifically and stuff like that. Now we have the tracing here so we can see that the, the track map actually has a little dot that moves along with the tracing. You can see where you're at on the track at any specific moment. And we have the steering, thrall and brake inputs right here. And that's going to give us all the information that we need. Right, let's get into the interesting bit. We want to compare ourselves to other drivers so we can actually improve. The first thing we want to do is go to add stint, add new stint dialog, and it will give us users best stints right here, this little button. And it's going to give us all the lap times that people have made and recorded to this platform. The fastest one was Reuven. He made a 151.581 at 40C. We're going to select that and it's going to put him in the red here and it's going to give us all his session details and his tracing is going to be in the red. Ours is going to be in the blue. So it's going to be very clear which is which. Let's go over it bit by bit. The first thing you want to do is actually be fair with yourself and the driver you're comparing to. So you want to make sure that the track conditions are quite similar. So it will be, uh, you know, the track will be at the same sort of speed. If it's very, very different, then you should probably find someone who is driving in more similar conditions to have a better indication. But from this video, we're going to skip that. Now let's take a look at the tracing here. The first one is going to show us the delta. Basically, when it's going up, that means you're losing time. When it's going down, you're gaining time. And you can see on the track map where you are at any specific moment. So on this corner entry, I was gaining a bit of time and then I was losing a little bit on the exit. Then I was gaining the back, gaining back again. And now I'm losing it all the way up again. That's our indication. Now that's our thrall tracing. That's our brake tracing. And these are the most important ones. Specifically, braking is usually the most important one. Now, what we want to do is actually zoom in on a specific moment so we can actually analyze it further and see the gaps, see the differences, 
and how we can improve ourselves. There's two ways to do that. You can either look at a specific sector. So you can see the red sectors are where I'm slower and the blue ones are where I'm faster. So we can just click on that sector and see the group of corners that's relevant to us. But we can also zoom in further. So if we go to F, which will give us the full lap, we can zoom in on a specific part that we want, like turn, uh, I think three and turn four. We can just click, left click from this point all the way through here. You wanna give it a bit of a gap between the breaking points and we'll zoom us in even further. We'll take us all the way into it and we'll be able to see exactly what's different between our, uh, you know, our inputs. The first thing we want to know is we're actually at this point we're from from the moment we start breaking we're starting to lose time quite a bit of it you can see i'm losing quite a bit of time and we can go down and analyze it further and see why so my first indication will be where we break so there's a big difference in our breaking points and if we click on the gap between our breaking points it will actually tell us exactly what the differences were so it says at this point in time i applied the break 4.2 meters earlier than than uh, Reuven was. That's why I was carrying less speed into the corner and potentially losing a bit of time. You can see that in the tracing above in the delta. You can also see that we went back to the throttle a little bit differently. So I was a little more committed. He was a little less committed. Um, and you can see that it, it, because of that, it sort of balanced out and I started gaining a little bit of time as well here. And see that that's the, the differences were that the fact that i was a little more committed on the throttle a little bit smoother on my input wasn't modulating as much kind of balanced my loss of time and i actually started gaining back time right at this point now as we can see we're, we're getting to the second breaking point right around here and we're pretty much neck and neck there's not a much between us at all but you can see that on the return to the fall I was a little bit a little bit more committed a little bit earlier a little bit smoother you can see his tracing is a little bit all over the place and mine was a bit smoother i went back to full throttle earlier and i'm starting to gain that time back you can see exactly where we are on the track if you look at the track map you can see exactly where we are on the track in the meantime you can also take a look at the steering differences you can see that how you can see how much steering he was using at any given moment and how much i was and you can try to analyze that even further. And that's basically how you get better with telemetry. You're using the tool to get better, to compare yourself to other people, and just to figure out what you're doing wrong at any specific moment on the track, just getting real in-depth with it. So let's say this breaking point, I can analyze it even further and just try to figure out every inch of our tracing to see exactly where I'm losing or gaining time. You can see he's breaking later and harder. That's going to give him a lot more speed into the corner and, you know, gain him a bit of time on the delta. And you can see that here. And that's exactly the sort of stuff that you need to focus on to be able to uh, find value in this platform and try to get a little bit faster. Uh, there's one more feature that I want to talk about that's actually kind of cool, which is the world records. So if you click on that. It will give you the last uh, combo that you were using. So iRacing, F3, Silverstone. But you can actually check out world records from any platform, any any sim, I mean, any any car that's in that sim and any track that's in that sim. You can actually compare yourself to other people as this platform gets a little more popular. I, I'm seeing a lot of people trying to figure this stuff out and, you know, try to uh, break world records. In fact, there's a Discord bot that's going to be released on my Discord that's going to uh, announce uh, new fastest laps, new world records automatically from this platform it's going to be pretty cool we're going to implement that in the near future in the meantime if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and if you want to see more this type of videos or track guides or racing videos stuff like that then subscribe to the channel i'm going to start getting into other sims in the near future as well so if you're not an iRacing guy but you want to check out my stuff then go ahead and do that i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye